Hello my loves and happy Wednesday. So today we are going to continue our Yoyoi Kusama study and while we're waiting for our paper mache pumpkins to dry we are going to talk about yet another obsession that Kusama has. So we know she's the princess of polka dots and we know that she adores pumpkins but something else that she also uses a lot is her subject matter of her work is fl our flowers. Um, specifically, she makes many flower sculptures. So flowers appear in her paintings and as giant sculptures. And her family owned a nursery when she was growing up and flowers um, were something that she was always fascinated by um, and something she was very familiar with. Um, so Yayoi Kusama's giant flower sculptures are very bold with their bright colors, patterns, and high gloss surfaces. The flowers in her work symbolize or represent opposites, life and death, feminine and masculine, organic, temporary and fragile flowers sculpted out of hard and enduring materials. Today in honor of Kusama's breathtaking flowers we are going to make our own flower sculptures of course yet again on a smaller scale and we are going to make them out of model magic. Now this is also going to be a two day project because we need time for the model magic to dry. So we're going to sculpt the flowers today. Tomorrow we'll paint our paper mache pumpkins and then Friday we'll paint these polka dot flower sculptures. All you're going to need today is your model magic. So go ahead and take out um, a big wad of your model magic. You can open multiple packs, roll them into a ball like this. Now let's say that something happened to your model magic or you don't have it for whatever reason. Um, here is a recipe for making model magic or air dry clay essentially. Um, so you can go ahead and pause and if you have the ingredients you can follow this recipe to make your own air dry clay to make uh, this flower sculpture out of. So either take the time now to make this clay or get out your model magic and roll it up and uh, get it prepared for use. Okay, so now that you have your clay, listen carefully. Divide your clay into one medium sized ball for the middle of your flower and five, one, two, three, four, five, five smaller balls that you're going to shape into your petals eventually. So you can reference my photo here, but first you're going to want to um, divide it into again one medium ball and five smaller balls. Okay? Then you're going to start um, shaping them into petals and to do that you can flatten the five smaller balls with the side of your fist and start shaping them into petals like in my picture. Uh, you can leave the medium sized ball as a ball and if you want to be fancy you can reference the picture and you can roll even smaller balls of clay to surround the middle of the flower. Okay, so once you have uh, some flattened petal-like shapes, and of course the exact shape is your choice because flowers come in all shapes and sizes, and you are the artist, you're going to attach the five petals to the back of the center ball by gently pressing them and rubbing each petal until the clay feels like it's well attached. And then if you look at the picture here, you can shape the petals a little bit like this by just gently 
pinching the ends or the tips of them. And now what you're going to want to do, you're pretty much done. You can go in and add any details, for example, the little tiny um, spheres that are uh, around the center if you want, or um, you can use a toothpick to add any details. But for the most part, we're done here, and you're going to set this aside to air dry somewhere safe away from pets or rambunctious siblings until Friday when we move on to the next step. Now, an important note, if a petal falls off after it dries, it's totally okay. You can just reattach it with some um, white glue or with a hot glue gun, okay? So no need to panic if that happens. Um, but to avoid that happening, you can make sure that you've really rubbed the um, petals uh, into the back of the center of the flower so that they're attached. All right? So have fun sculpting and shaping your flower sculpture out of your air dry clay today. I can't wait to see pictures in your portfolio and I'm excited to paint them with you on Friday. All right, bye.